Hello everyone, my name is Real Beliefs and welcome back to Total War Warhammer 2. The Prophet and the Warlock is now coming out very soon and we're going to check out the Prophet to Hinnomon. We're going to try out his campaign and see what comes up in time. Let's go look at our faction effects for him and whenever we're in the game we're going to talk a little bit about his lore. Really what we're going to talk about in the very beginning is one of the most significant events in the history of the Lizardmen. And that was the rise of the Cult of the Serpent God, Sotek. Traditionally, the gods of the Lizardmen were, and still are, the old ones, but Sotek was a new god of the skinks that would come about. We'll talk about that rise later on. The action effects over here. Sacrificial offerings gained from winning battles can be offered to Sotek to receive a variety of powerful rewards. Upkeep up by 200% for Sar's infantry and Temple Guard units until completing Stage 1 of our prophecy. Then over here. My cost for enacting the run to Sotek goes down by 75%. Now here are pertinent abilities for a Tehenawan. We've got physical resistance up by 10% for all skink units. And a leadership bonus of 10 when fighting against Skaven. And a untainted score of plus 3 whenever we're in a local province. Down here we have a Bastilodon that carries a Arc of Sotek. We'll see what that does more in combat later on. But here are some effects over here. A Vortex spell. Sotek's crawling, swarming allies surround the bearer, affording them further might and protection in the struggle to come. Okay, does not affect friendly troops. Large area of effect, weak against armor, which is fine because we'll be fighting a lot of Skaven. Then over here we have red crested skinks, and they're pretty good. We're going to be using them quite a bit in battle. They have armor piercing. They're a great axe infantry unit. Then finally, our salamander hunting pack. Okay, Aquatic, Armor Piercing, Primal Instincts. They have a decent Missile Range damage, or Missile Damage and also Range. In addition to having 20 shots total and a chance to deal Flaming Damage. Very nice. Okay, let's get into the game right now. We don't have a new intro cinematic, so we'll jump right into the game itself. A migration of Red Crested Skinks has begun with the Skaven launching new invasions upon Lustria and the Great Vortex weakening. The appearance of Sotek's Forks of Tongue in the Sky heralds a time of great significance for the Lizardmen. In the far south of their home continent, the charismatic prophet of Sotek readies his apostles for a purge of Lustria's foes and to enact the next stage of the Great Plan. All praise, mighty Sotek. May he gift me the strength to cleanse our jungles of the diseased Skaven. The prophecy shall be fulfilled. He shall be reborn anew. Clan Fester of the Plague Spawn encroach. They dare to challenge us. They shall be the first to be taught the word of Sotek and suffer his indomitable wrath. Indeed. Across the dwarf delved jungle cliffs, more rat filth dwell in ruined cities. Clan Pestilence spread corruption and disease throughout these lands. We shall spill their pox rid of blood atop the sacrificial altar. Alters. There's a plurality of them. But a greater threat has arrived in Lustria. The plague spawned master engineer Ikit Claw. He brings foul experiments from across the world pond and is hell bent on destruction. He must be stopped. All the while, other warm bloods also wantonly take from our land with the elves having already established colonies here. It matters not, for the prophet will protect the jungle from all invaders. Mighty Sotek, we invoke you through our sacrifices. Rise up and blood for enemies. Okay. How they play Cult of Sotek. Sacrifices to Sotek. As prophesied, Sotek's coming will bring power and prosperity to the children of the Old Ones. Only by following the instructions in the plank of Sotek and by making great sacrificial offerings earned through battles will Sotek truly reward those who follow him. Let's go look over here right now at what they're talking about. Here's a mission to build a new building. They'll give me more offerings and 500 gold. The interpretation of the great plan over the millennia is dense and complex. Some knowledge has regretfully been lost. We must discover forgotten lore and fathom new methods of warfare against the Warmbloods. Construction of this building will allow us to begin. Then finally, Prophet of Sotek, the plague-ridden rat spawn, once again invade our continent, purge them, and restore order as the old ones foretold. 
Skaven inhabit the Under Empire, making their settlements indistinguishable from ruins until approached. We'll get 1,000 more gold and 8 plaques. We're not going to worry about the Great Vortex until the very end. But what we will worry about is right over here. As you can see, we have 200 offerings right now. We can get more as we fight. We're looking at a lot of temporary buffs here. They can be quite good, especially as you begin to fight back and forth. But I'm also able to unlock new units like the cohort of Zotek, Red Crested Skinks. I could use that unit right now. Yeah, you know what? We're going to take that. Sacrifice of Guacamole. Let's take it. We could use a new unit if we're going to go into battle. Over here is my stage one prophecy of Sotek. I need to own two entire provinces. I need to keep on making sacrifices and eventually I'll have completed stage one. After that, I'll be able to recruit source infantry units and temple guard units without having to pay too much. Let's read that little lore blurb before we move on. Against the tide of non-believers, Sotek's red crested faithful shall emerge as his champions to go forth and make disciples of all the old one's children beseeching them in the name of the Serpent God. Okay, it's about time for me to pop into battle. I've got to pick up my new unit here. Let's have a look. Armor piercing, frenzy, poison attacks, aquatic. Very nice. They are unbreakable and they have a physical resistance of 10% now. Now they've joined me. I've got two units total. Let's go look at what we have. Okay, the plaque of Sotek. I'll be able to pick that up at rank 8. Over here we have Fanatic, plus 12 to melee attack, that's really high, and another 10% physical resistance. Here's a Prophecy of Eradication, a huge bonus when fighting infantry. It's really all geared around hunting down Skaven, which I'm okay with. Here are my Disciples of Sotek, plus 20 armor for my Red Crested Skinks and Basilodon Arc of Sotek units, and more melee defense. Dear God. They shall eventually become amazing at rank 12. We can pick up Sotex Gifted for more magical powers. Reverence over here. Casualty replenishment rate and cost will go down. Here's Enlighten. I'll get 10 sacrifices per turn and I'll be able to re really recruit more locally and globally. All right, eventually at level 20, I'll have an Ancient Stegodon to use. At rank 10, we'll pick up a Ripper Dactyl. We'll finally be able to check that out. Okay, let's now get ready for the battle. Right after I upgrade my spawn pools of the lower cast, we're going to turn it into a spawn pools of the braves. Let's head straight into battle. We'll probably pick up like, what, 50 more sacrifices per fight? While they have more infantry than I do, at least melee infantry, I think we have a pretty good chance at taking them out. I'm going to try out my hunting salamanders. I feel like my salamanders are going to be what's key to my victory. My Bastilodon I'll use to tank most of that ranged damage. We'll probably go after that Plague Monk unit. Okay. Begin deployment. Let's have a look at where we want to go. Okay, so here we have Plague Monks. And whenever I begin our fight, I'll show you every unit that I have. We have over here Focus Instincts. It'll cancel Rampaging. Very good. I've got some spells over here. Alright, from the Lure of Beasts, and that looks pretty good. As for my infantry, you'll be right behind my ranged units. These two will go in to fight. Hunting Salamanders, you'll be in your own group. And Bastilodon, we're going to use you too. You've got a Arc of Sotek. Very nice, okay. It does not impact my allied units. Very good. Let's go. Right over here, to fight a very large battle. All right, here's my Ark of Sotek right on its back. Check that out. Pretty cool looking. Over here, we have Tahan and One. He's like, look at my plaque. It's all mine. I love it. Setting straight into battle. He's running like an actual lizard. Oh no, it's comical. And over here, we have our Salamander hunting pack. Now these guys are very cool looking. I can't wait to see how they perform in battle. They've got a chance to do some serious damage. And back here are my red crested skinks. They've got a unique ability. Oh, they cannot die while the ability is active. It'll last for 20 seconds. 
Look at those two-handed weapons. Dear God. They're pretty strong. Here's my other red crested skinks. I mean, they are not special in that regard, but let's go and fight our battle. Okay, group two. Let's move you over here. Group one, you're going to wait there, but my Bastilodon will take the forefront. They won't be able to take him down in time. I would love to go after this Plague Monks right away. You know what? Let's do it right now. Hunting Salamanders, come over here. Let's go after those Plague Monks and find out what your attack animations look like. They're creeping on in. Alright, here we go. Oh, check out what's going on here. But what will the damage be like? Will it be substantial? It seems like it will be substantial. Dear God, you took out a lot. Very nice. You know what? Why don't you come in over here? We're not going to charge in just yet. Let's keep on attacking. Move back real quick. They're coming to fight me. No, 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 no. Back, back, back. Might lose one or two, but that's fine. Let's just get them back. And as all of you are fighting, let's move into battle. Okay, red crested skinks. Time for you to charge in. To hand in one. You two. Let's all go in. Celadon, use your arc. It's time. There we are. Decent amount of damage. Oh, they're pretty quick. We need to get out of there. Let's get out of there real quick. All right, so Hannah One, let's use your magic right now to take on who we're fighting. Skirmish mode, charge in, and charge in. Let's go after that more powerful group right now. I don't want any of you to die. We're going to use our ability as we go in to kill these plague monks. They will probably break in a little while as we keep on fighting all of them. Come after their own range units. We'll go kill more clan rats. As for my salamander hunting pack, we're going to bring them over here because we can outrace that one unit they have. My Bastilodon is still fighting way back here on its own. Let's go check out the battle now. Okay, they're not rampaging yet. They did a really good job. Very nice work. Again, come over here. I want you to move over to the left flank. I would love to go after that ranged unit, but we'll see what happens in a little while. All right, that unit is now done for. We've already beaten them. I'm going to move all of you back. Let's use some... Here we go. Lock of Doom. If you're out of ammo, go into melee combat. Same as you. Come help out. You can use your arc in a little while. Let's go after this group of clan rats again. Despite not having the largest numbers here, we're doing so darn well. Check out my red crested skinks. We'll go back into slow motion while we watch them pound our enemies into the ground. My God, they're strong. We've already killed 76. I mean, keep in mind, they had Plague Monks and Plague Monks did not beat me. All right, we'll go kill their Slingers. What about you? Use your Arc of Sotek. It's really more of a debuff, but we're gonna let them fight on their own for right now. My Hunting Salamanders are back. Okay, you cannot skirmish. We've killed a lot of clan rats. We're gonna kill more. Let's go after this group. They're beginning to bother me. All right, so hand in one, we're gonna use more magic. How many have you killed now? Only 17, but that is okay. My skinks are surprisingly very good. I mean, every buff I have is allowing them to stay in battle for a long period of time. Let's just check it out real quick. I'd love to go into slow motion to check things out. So hand in one is just showing people his shiny plaque. He's very happy about it. Okay, another block of doom. That's gonna whittle them down. Let's move back again. We can run away and make it back later. Plague Monks are coming back. Let's go get them too. I know they're beginning to waver just a touch. Oh, very good. I don't want any of you to die. Just go after their leader. I know he's tough, but we can get him. Okay, hunting salamanders come over here now. You can help out again with that group that's coming after me. Let's go kill those Plague Monks. You know what? You can come over here to go kill those clan rats who are left. Fahinawan, you can go join in. I'm gonna buff you up. Enjoy. Yeah, we'll probably want to chase a group or two that's coming after me. Hunting salamanders will be able to assist our leader, the Prophet Sotek, right from behind. You can see how they're just breaking apart the enemy that we have before us. We're still fighting these clan rats. It's really bloody. Okay, another flock of doom, you say. Good idea. Use it right over here. 
The skinks really did need to be added in. Now they have a lot more synergy going on. There were so few of them, but now there's a decent amount to where we can fight a battle and do some serious damage. We haven't beaten their leader yet, unfortunately. All right, so hit a one, come over here. Hunt accelerators, attack. You too, let them come at me. You know what, we'll go after their leader too. Let's go after their leader. My red crested skinks can move away. What about my other group? Kill more clan rats for me. Hold on, you can't attack directly, not easily. Keep on going, you got it, you got it. Another flock of doom, and one more spell to use. They're already dying. Heck yeah. Now if we could take out their leader, that would be even better. Hey, you leave Tahin and Wano alone. He doesn't need you here. We'll try to take out their leader or do something to him. Let's go chase after other units too. Alright, who am I going to send out? We'll come over here. Skirmishers, you'll go after what you can. Other skinks, keep on moving. It was bloody. We did lose a bit, but we managed to win. My salamanders are also able to rout my foes after a battle. You can see what they're doing to them. Hold on, let's go check it out. Oh, that's really cool. Just eat them. Those animations are fantastic. Whenever I have more of a melee line, I'll be able to hold for them while they come in to hit from the flank. My cohort, if I didn't have them here, I feel like that battle would have been even bloodier. I mean, look at their kills. 265. 133, they had to fight an enemy leader too. Even my cohort's got a lot of kills. I'm really curious to see how our game will play out after all these battles. We got him. One more dead. To hit him one, got quite a few kills. Even my Bastilodon did. So we took a lot of damage in that fight, but it was worthwhile. We lost only 129 while they lost 942. We had only 554 deployed, so it's understandable. We were heavily outnumbered by the innumerable Skaven. We killed their leader. Sometimes you just want to leave them wounded. That way they don't get a new leader. Even if that leader is at a low level, it's still a full, healthy leader. All right. We're not going to exterminate. We are going to mark for a sacrifice. The Serpent God Sotek looks favorably upon those who make bloody sacrifices in his name. Now, we can get some more bodies. Good, good. It's one enemy gone. You're now level two. Predatory fighter. That would be nice to have, sure. Especially when fighting Skaven. I think I'm going to take that on in the very beginning. We need him to deal more damage. Campaign effects plus five to untainted. Oh good, we can eradicate any taint in our lands. Yeah, when I get more bodies, I'll probably get even more units. Okay, Plyodon Landing. 150 for income. We're building a better garrison. My web strength is only two for right now. In time, it shall become better. It shall become better. Okay. They've got a much larger army over to the left. I probably shouldn't chase them down. I, I should probably rebuild for right now. I could take some basic skink units. I mean, they're really not too expensive. I'll take them now. That way we can end our turn after we look at our diplomacy. Our beginning is certainly very hard. Oh, hello. You're still alive. Why don't you pay me for that? Okay, they won't do it for that much, but maybe just maybe i can get 300. okay never mind that won't work <laughs> there we are they're pretty poor the high elves are intruding but they can be quite handy too if you wish i make more money now via trade your will is done we might as well be friendly right kingdom come hates vampires climate is irrelevant what do you want of the warrior queen? Absolutely I would like not. to not fight you for now, but I understand if you want to fight. Okay, hopefully the other lizardmen will unite because we have many Skaven here. It's going to be a very challenging campaign. Look at that army. 14 out of 20. Ognag is pretty much done for. The Night Force. I need that location. Oh, hello. Whenever we have a pretty powerful army, we can come over here to get quite a bit of gold. All right, let's end our turn. 
Amongst the sacred plaques of Chakwa, there existed a passage that didn't exist in any other temple city. This was known as the Prophecy of Sotek and predicted an apocalyptic invasion of Lustria by two-legged vermin. It is said that the ruination would last centuries and that many temple cities would fall, including Chakwa. But this time, Sotek would appear to end the rat. It wasn't until a plague hit Chakwa that the plan was studied in any great detail. Thousands of skinks would die from the infections. Even their spawning pools weren't quite right. They would spawn and die soon after. Alright. Let's have a look now. You're not quite done. Let's come right over here. I don't know where the Skaven went, but I'm sure we'll find out. Ah, here we go. Another battle to fight. They even have Night Runners too. Now that I don't like. But there are no Plague Monks here. If I win the battle now, I can, well, recruit more units again. Battle of the Night Forest. We'll be fighting Clan Fester. Maybe in the trees if we so will it. I'm going to try to make a nice front line with my skinks. Well, actually, I would rather flank with my two-handed skinks. My red crested ones who seem to be quite, uh, well, powerful. Oh, God, it's horrible here. Let's begin deployment. All right. Let's look at where we want to go now. There's three of you in the middle. I've got skirmishers who will play on the flanks. We want to keep them in a fairly dense formation. My salamanders will be off on their own. I want to hide them, though. Hold on. Just had it. Just give me a moment here. I'll figure it out. So if I can get them hidden away, we can bring them in later to help me out. I'll try a different location then. Maybe over here. It's a little bit denser. Okay, if you're not going to let me do it, I'll just leave them back behind my lines. There we go. Alright, so you two are over here. Go into skirmish mode. Red Crested Skinks, I'm going to let you flank around my foes too. To Hannah Wan, you'll be in the middle. Basilodon, you too. Alright, what am I missing right now? I think I have it all together, don't I? Yeah, I do. Let's go. Oh, they're moving, I see, okay. Hunting Salamanders, I'm going to move you over here. I wonder, I could use that ruined tower to my advantage. I really try to. Depends on what they're going to send at me, though. Alright, let's move over here. I'm going to watch out for their range. Let's come back over here and maybe soften up our foes. Yeah, they're just going to move around right now. That's fine. I'll move up and take them out. We'll fast forward a little bit until we get into the actual fight itself. Let's go kill these Night Riders for fun. For a little bit of fun. Or even the clan rats over to my right. Doesn't really matter who we hit. Let's just go hit them. Okay, all of you, let's go in. It's time. If you can lob a few missiles over at them, that would destroy them, I'm sure. Try it out, man. Try it out. Okay, Tahan and Wan, it is time for you to use some magic. Well, no. Actually, never mind. We'll wait. They're not all grouped up yet. Let's go in. And over here. There's another group way out there. Let's go get them. Um, red Crested Skinks. I don't know what I'll do with you yet. You know what? Why don't you go after those who are back there behind our line? We'll go charge in again. Oh, I don't like any of you. Alright, it's time for me to use Flock of Doom now. Here's my Bastilodon going after some of their ranged units. Their goal is to try to absorb a few of their hits. Yeah, if you want to come after me, I'll go hit you too. Don't worry about it. Let's buff up my skink cohort group. My Bastilodon is kind of in the middle, right? Yeah, a little bit. Let's debuff those who are hitting him. And back here, we have more clan rats on the way. My skink cohort is already beginning to waver. Okay, it's a hand and one. Let's go into battle now. It's time. I know they have a wizard in their midst. 
Let's go kill them too. Oh, that's okay. We'll go kill more of them. Don't worry about it. Yeah, go flank them right now. Don't skirmish. Just go flank them. Got to this group too. That war planning is quite deadly. I don't like it at all. I think we're going to build a win though, right? Another flock of doom right in the middle. We'll take some big lumps, but eventually we'll win. Let's go ahead and keep them unkillable for right now while they take more damage. We could even use that whenever they're using spells. All right, let's go look at the battle in slow motion again. A very savage affair. Skinks are fighting... Well, it actually seems rather suitable size-wise that they're fighting. So, Hanuman, where are you? It's a little bit further back. They're not rampaging. You don't have to worry about that. Poor Skinks over on the left flank are really having a rough time, but we're going to beat the crap out of this one unit. It's one group of clan rats. We'll hit him from behind. My left flank seems to be doing okay. My skinks over here are taking a lot of damage. We're killing a lot of night runners with my Bastilodon. And I'm gonna buff up my red crescent skinks again. While they take some damage. There we go. Okay, Salamanders, why don't you attack back over here? At those Skaven slaves, we'll keep on hitting them. I know that one unit has finally broken. A shameful. Let's go kill that Warlock Master now. It's going right in. Another Flock of Doom, you say? Don't mind if I do. Keep on killing the Night Runners. I feel like our Skinks on the left flank are doing fine too, so we'll let them keep on doing their thing. Oh, we are beating the crap out of them. That's awesome. Come over here and kill those Clan Rats, or even the Night Runners will be fine. Kill the Night Runners. Other Skinks, why don't you come help me out real quick? We'll go fight. Still on, come help out. Kill some night runners, maybe. We'll stay there and fight. Okay, skirmishers, I'm gonna bring you back in to go attack this group of clan rats. The rest of you come back in too. Another flock of doom just to kill some enemies, and I'm gonna buff up to Hannah One. Now he's even stronger. That school of magic is so powerful for him, I love it. Let's debuff those who are close by. Just shoots right out. I hope, it's hit. I, I hope it did hit a few of them, but anyway. Blaster Warp Lightning. Okay, now you're unkillable. Well, other skinks are having some tough times, but let's keep on looking. Why don't these hunting salamanders come over here now and go after these night runners? We won't put them into guard mode. Considering I'm having to rush into battle and our beginning is considered very hard, I think we're doing quite well. I never thought it would be easy. We don't actually need to hunt them down because we're in a town, right? Well then, let's forget about it and end our battle. Battle number two, one. Mutant killed 129. Shoot, I'll have to find a way to counter them. That was really where they got most of their kills. 390 killed total, or lost total. There could have been some friendly fire too, but that magic did a lot. Mutant. Usage. All gone. Alright, I would like to occupy for sure. Loot and occupy would give me more sacrifices. We need more. We always need more. I'll gain more replenishment too, so we're going to do that. I don't usually do that, but because we get more bodies, we've got to do it. Okay, a valiant start. It's a hand in one. But more rat spawn dwell elsewhere, corrupting and withering life in Lustria. Seek out more territory and clear it of vermin. We'll gain 2,000 gold if we do so. He's at level 3. I'm going to give him now Enforcer of Order. We get more weapon strength whenever fighting Skaven. I'll get Route Marcher afterwards. I usually get it first, but we need what I have right now. Right now. Grab a Skirmisher. We could use those two. Let's repair what we have here. Very nice. We're going to grab what then? Income from all buildings. Growth goes up. Public order goes up. What's over here? Alignment of order. Holy Stella. Oh, right, right. Chance of a plague spreading, minus 20%. Plague duration, minus 20%. Untainted. And over here, more weapon strength. We'll take that for now because we kind of need it. Here is my right of Sotek. It does last for a long time. Causes attrition to enemy armies within your territory. Let's do it now. It'll be a great way to keep them away. It's a very cheap right for me. Yeah. Now try to get me. 
I could pick up a buff. Sure, that would be good, but I want to get some other things. More replenishment for a while would be good, but I want another regiment of renown. Okay, complete the following mission to unlock this tier of sacrifices. Rise of the Red Crest, Exodus, okay. Gotta get up there if I want to pick that up. I need 250 for the sacrifice of Chakwa. That'll give me some sorry spears, but they cost way too much, so I should probably wait anyway. Alright. We can end our turn now. Still no technology to pick up. I don't know where they're at. Hopefully they're in their town, and hopefully someone else is fighting them. The dwarves may be friendly. Yeah, they are friendly. Good, good. I wonder, can we treaty? Of we Elf are. One. No, we're not. <laughs> we can't trade yet. I'm trading with the elves. I just wanted to fool you. <laughs> All right. So we are going to leave that alone and end our turn again. It's going to be a very interesting campaign to see where we can go from here. I actually really enjoy the detail of the Vortex map. It's kind of like how I would go play the old world map. Largely because I really enjoy fast turn times. Yeah, the Slan Mage Priest of the city were alarmed sending war patrols through the jungle. They found a new species in the ruins of Quetzal. They were rat men and were those of Clan Pestilence, a bunch of disease worshipping monks. Another mission completed too. Mission issued. Research and technology. Skink researchers and archivists are poised to do your bidding. Ancient masters select the field of knowledge you require and they shall begin. Oh, give me more. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Ammunition. Plus 20% for skink units. I'll take that. And if I can get a skink chief, that sounds pretty darn sweet to me. Let me go look at how much more we need to do. I need to own one more province and I need to sacrifice more foes in battle. I've got to fight them on the field of battle if I want to do that. Alright, which one am I going to take up? Poison attacks? I mean, that's pretty good to have, just by default. Yeah, we'll take you. I don't know what I'll name you yet. I'll get more plaques if I use them. We are beginning to replenish quickly. I can even get red crested skinks again. Heck yeah. They're really good. I think I want a lot of them. Upkeep is all right. But what they can do to Skaven is just a work of art, man. Yeah, let's give them a bit of veterancy just by recruiting them. I like that. They'll be even stronger afterwards. If I picked up that extra replenishment, you know what? I think I will. That'll let me pop back into battle. Yeah, I like that a lot, actually. In one more turn, we could probably go to the Dust Gate. My agent can, can go out. I might have him join me in the battle, though, instead. I haven't decided. Alright. Let's end our turn again. Yeah, so they would capture some of these Skaven and bring them back to the city, inviting a plague to the city of Chakwa. They agreed the prophecy was at hand. <laughs> Even the Slam Mage Priests were ill, and they would be dying, really, from this. That is when the greatest of the skinks came about. Ten and one. He would take the planks and carry them at the head of a huge column of survivors from the city. He sought to warn all of his kind, but also get revenge too. If I have a careful look, we can see that I might be outnumbered by the Skaven over to the west. If I could ambush their army, that would be even better for me. The Night Forest? Yeah, sure, I'll take that. Let's upgrade it right now to tier 2. I'm going to let you pop out and stage an ambush right over here. We've got a very high chance to accomplish our goal. If we can beat their armies, I mean, hey, we'll be better off. Let's check out what they have. Well, that's a bit of my money. I don't want to spend all of that. Here, come join me. All right, one mission completed. We're bound to have another rebellion very soon. We may have to wait anyway. Okay, more leadership, more weapon strength. That should do it. Let's end our turn now. I don't know what they're going to do, but if I head right in, we're going to deal with a garrison, then we're going to deal with an army. Because I doubt they have moved away from where they're at now. 
So it's going to be very challenging. Oh, here they come. Oh, heck yeah, we did it. Oh, man, if I went for their army, I would be in huge trouble. Borg Zap Scruttle. He's got rat ogres. More rats to bring in. Then we're looking at rat ogres, too. <laughs> Not just one, but two. In addition to plague monks and their storm vermin. All right. Here I go. Let's find out what's going to happen in this fight. I'll have them surrounded, though. That should cause a big malice over to their leadership, meaning they may break quickly. If they're all grouped up, my salamanders will destroy them. I'll use Flock of Doom. I'll buff up my Red Crested Skinks. I'll probably let my special Red Crested Skinks use their ability in the opening stage of that fight. Oh good, this is actually fairly advantageous. I might be able to tear apart their Rat Ogres and other units early on. That's really my biggest goal. Alright, Skinks, I want you to get ready to attack over here. I want one of you to go after their... Well, I want two of you or three of you to go after all of those Rat Ogres. Over here, I want my Red Crested Skinks to help me in battle. We're going to go after all of those dirty Plague Monks. Yeah. I think that's how we're going to do it. Hunting Salamanders. I don't know what I'm going to have you do yet. I think you'll be on my right flank. Skinks, I want you to charge in together. Okay, my Chief will join you. You'll join Group 2. Group 1 will be with me. My reinforcements will not make it here in time for the major part of this fight. That's really unfortunate. Let's try to go after that Warlock Master. We know how tough they are. Let's go in. I'm going to give a target to everyone before we just let the battle play out. Because we have a lot to fight. Just go after what you can. Basildon, you too. Hunting Salamanders, why don't you go after the Plague Monks? And for all of my other units, let's just go straight in. You two, Chief. You two come after the Rat Ogres, and you as well. Here comes my reinforcements. Alright. Everyone but Tehenna One has a goal. Okay, there's two of you. Sora Spears move in. Oh yeah, you could be a big help right now. Considering I don't have your kind to help me, really. Go on into battle. You can see this huge battle is taking place right now. It's going to be pretty interesting. Oh, I hate their magic. Don't do it. Don't do it. Oh, he did it. It's so very powerful. So use that real quick. I'm going to buff up my own units. And hunting salamander pack. Or salamander hunting pack. Come over here. Oh, yeah. We have a huge group to take out. Let's go focus on that group then. I'm going to have many of my skinks move into battle elsewhere while we do this. I'll let some of my range units go hunt down their slingers, I think. Yeah, I want you to move in. Chief, I want you to move in over here. I've got a nice ability to help heal things. So, hand in one. You know what to do. We're moving out my salamander. So, let's go check out the battle in slow motion. Here's my Bastildon debuffing enemies and doing all this cool stuff. Alright, you'll keep on fighting. The Rat Ogres are really nasty. I need to buff up that unit if I want them to survive, probably. They have spawned in. An enemy unit. Let's go after them, too. Here comes all my friends. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. It'll be group four. That's why sometimes I just like to group them all up. Because that could be deadly. That could be really deadly. All right. Here comes my skinks from behind. They're kind of divided. And we've already beaten one group of their plague monks. Good. Did we take up their leader? We did not. Not yet. Oh, crap. Here comes more magic. Oh, I hate it so much. My other red crescent skinks will move over here now. I know they lost a lot from all that spell casting, but they've got to move now. All right, I'm going to let you move into melee, I think. Come over here. Come over here right now. I don't really have a choice. We're out shooting all of their units. Very nice. All right, I want you to move over here to go after the Rat Ogres. I think you guys can really destroy the Rat Ogres if you try to. Come over here and push in. Still on. Keep on helping me out, but let's go after their leader. Right there, the Warlock Master. Okay, Salamanders, come over here to attack. That's a huge group of them. You can easily eradicate them, I'm sure of it. Pretty's a flock of beasts right now to take out those in the middle. And I'm going to buff up my unique group of... Oh, yeah, they're just attacking over here. Okay, so they're falling apart, it looks like. Good, 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 good. 
Let's go shoot these blasted units. You two come over here. Let's go after that group. Okay, so we've got some more rats to go kill. Not a problem. So our spears are coming in. Let's go have another look. My chief will probably keep them all together. Good, good, good. Let's go after that leader of theirs. My two-handed skinks are just so good. It may take me a minute to replenish, but because... Oh, yeah, check out my attacks from behind. They're losing it. They're being hit really hard. Let's go ahead over here as to avoid some friendly fire. They've already killed how many? 45. All right, back into normal speeds again. Let's kill that other warlock master, right? Why not? Oh, rat ogres, go away, man. I've got some great spears that will come for you and hopefully destroy you. We have eradicated a large amount of their units now. Let them stay wounded. Let them stay wounded. I'll come after more of them later. Chief, you can move in. We'll need to use that ability before we leave. My salamanders have eradicated how many now? 57. Okay. I want you to just go into melee and chase them all down. That's really what I need from you right now. Skaven slaves, you say. Alright, let's give everyone a target. Hold on. Everyone needs a target before we stop. Plague monks have got to go because if we kill more of them now, we don't have to kill them later. It'll save me lives and time. Man, how do you have so many rat ogres already? That's incredible. We're on like turn two or three or four. That's okay. I'm coming. Don't you fret. I'll come kill you. I think we're pretty good. Yep. Let's go chase him down now. How many did you kill? Only 11 in that fight. Okay, Chief. Let's heal up to hit him one. Actually, my skink's over here. They could use... Oh, no. They're not going up. That's a shame. Was it that a slightly different ability than what it looked like? Oh, okay. It's different. Okay. That icon used to just be a healing ability, but now I know it's about stopping their rampaging. And plus 16 to leadership. Or maybe it just looks a lot like that previous icon. <laughs> well, good to know. I can help a unit stop crowding. We're nearly done. I can't catch them all yet, but I did pick up a lot of them. There's a few back here who just will not go away. What about the rat ogres? How well did you do? Oh, I was hoping to kill one more. Okay, let's leave now. We lost 401 in our main army. They lost 1,250. Again, you can see that the warp lightning is really their most potent weapon right now. The rat ogres, sure, but... And my two-handed skinks are just doing a phenomenal job of getting into the enemy, breaking them apart. We'll never stop taking our bodies because I need them so much. Ooh. Now that would have been bad. There's two armies to worry about. I'll have to keep on recruiting. I'll have to go handle that rebellion soon. Or just go back into my town. Trade agreement, huh? I can do that. That's only for flying units. Not really that handy, but thanks anyway. Nope, I don't need that. That would give you more blah blah. Yeah, there's a few spells I want to give you, sure. But let's go down here, Route Marcher. Come back in. We're probably going to have a big rebellion. We're not careful. I did raid those guys, so it will take time. Yeah, provincial instability, minus one per turn. That's what I get for doing that. But my replenishment is very high right now. I could grab more skinks if I wanted to. Hmm. I'll take one more of you. Okay. I'll take one more of you, too. Pick it two more. Alright, what could I take over here that could help out? More armor. Yeah, sure. I don't have a choice but to pick that up for the moment. I mean, we're looking at a lot of Skaven. Don't cross wires! We'll have a lot more armor than they have outside of their leader. I'd rather fight a warlord at that point. Okay. 
Now we can end our turn. And really hope for the best in our following fight. If I could beat this clan, I would be really happy about that. They're a challenge. They've got the numbers to overwhelm me. Oh, okay. We're doing that now? Alright. I don't have a bigger garrison. Hmm. Let's go in then. Oh, very nice. Thank you, hero. You help out my replenishment even further. So we're fighting, let's see, another wizard. Oh boy, more plague monks, more rat ogres, and they have gutter runners. A lot of decent tiered units. There's been a few changes to that clan. They're much tougher than they used to be. That is for darn sure. All right, let's check it out again. I could just go right in and fight them. They are coming to attack me. I've got some ranged units, right? Some slingers, sure. Oh, well, that didn't help my magic at all. Thank you for that. Hold well, on, let's move back. How am I gonna tackle this battle? I think I wanna keep it to one flank. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. I'll put five of you here. My skinks will be right behind. They're going to follow up and join elsewhere. Yeah, sure. Okay, cohorts. I need all of you over here. And over here. As for... Oh, the garrison, right. The garrison's here. We should certainly use them in the middle of this fight. Yeah, hold on. I'm going to change it up a little bit then. My spears are going to help out right from behind. I mean, these are Sars warriors. We can certainly get them some bleed for us. Hunting Salamanes will bring you back over here. And Soldon, you're going to be right in the middle to help us out. Contact, poison. Large area of effect. Only minor damage. It's really just about debuffing. Okay. You two will be in the middle to help out. Let's now begin. Our big fight. Every skirmishing unit, go into skirmish mode. Not you, Chief. You don't have to, Chief. That's okay. Okay, here they come. Plague monks are on the way. And I do not like that. Got some trees right here. Rat ogres are coming right in. I wanna shoot the crap out of their units. Come over here. Here comes the gutter runners. I've got these skinks here though that are gonna take some serious attacks for me. Let's go in and fight. I'm gonna send in these units initially. And then Yeah, let's just all get in here. Go fight. Pretty major foe. And as for what they have, let's go attack these gutter runners right now. I'm gonna send in some skink cohorts to go attack too. They're just meant to assist. Left flank, what are we looking at? Some night runners, sure. We'll go fight their clan rats. Skirmishers, why don't you come over here onto the left flank? Red Crested Skinks, move over here. This is going to be three of you. As for my other side, yeah, we're going to take out army number one, then see what we can do. Javelins, let's go after the Night Runners, or the Gutter Runners, my bad, and destroy them. I think the Rat Ogres are in huge trouble. Oh, I hate their Warp Lightning. Go away, no one likes seeing Warp Lightning. Okay, we're gonna use our ability now to start bashing some people in the freaking head. Here comes army number two. We're taking out these gutter runners, hopefully, very quickly. No, you don't really need to go in yet, do you? No, 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 no. Well, it's too late now. Let's let them go in. I'm trying to avoid those gutter runner hits. We hit more of them. I think we've already broken. Yeah, we've already broken a lot of them, even though they used the warp lightning on me. Bunch of fools. Fools and never do wells. All right, Tahan and Wan, let's go after their leader. I'm gonna buff you up now because you deserve it. Because you're worth it. All right, Skink Chief, what about you? We're gonna head in over here and kill, oh God, here comes another one. Cut it out. Leave my spears alone. I think my spears did a great job of taking down those Rat Ogres. 
Very exciting for me. All right, let's push in a little bit. I'm going to bring in my skinks now. It's time for them to come in. Let's go. I'm over here. Got more skinks to move in, too. Just need to push in. I think the Hannah Wan is way too far out. My bad. We use the Flock of Doom just to help him out. I'm going to bring in this group of red crested skinks into the fray. Go kill these other enemies of mine. There's just so many units right now. There's so many to worry about. More plague monks to kill. Good work, Sora Spears. What about these other javelin using units? Oh, yeah. Go fight, man. Go fight. You got it. I believe in you. I believe in you right now. Oh, you're taking out their leader. Heck yeah. So, Hanawan's already becoming more powerful. Check him out. He's going to take out that Warlock Master. You got him. Is he blowing up? Uh oh. Okay, good. Phew. I was a little bit worried about that. He's wounded. That's one enemy leader gone. Let's go bring in these red crested skinks now. We're going to charge into their flank. Kill some... Yeah, yeah. Just come over here. Go come over here. We'll go after those gutter runners. Use your ability to avoid attacks. Oh, very nice. Okay, Salamanders, I'm going to let you now chase after them. As for my other skirmishing units, just come join me. Let's go look at each and every unit that I have right now. We need to make sure that everyone has a target. I think most of them do. Very exciting. I've got a lot of extra replenishment. I'm going to use that blessing all the time. Because if I can get into every battle and really outdo my enemies by respawning so quickly. I like that. My own headcanon, I prefer to think of it as kind of a way to heal up wounded warriors. Because you're going to have more wounded than dead more often than not. Let's go. So, Hannah 1, I'm going to buff you up again. I know it's nasty, but we gotta go. Over here, let's go ferry some of their range units away. We'll come after the rat ogres who are attacking me. You two move over here. You two move over here too. I'm gonna go after more rats. Gross. Pink Chief, I know you're doing a lot, but let's go, man. Let's go. Well, that was a lot of damage. I did not appreciate that. Hold on. Lock of Doom. Let him lose his mind for a little bit. I didn't really need that. I just wanted to use it. Yeah, go chase him down, skin cohort. I know they have more on the way. I'm gonna come after them now. Yeah, go hit them. The rat ogres are fleeing. Right, let's have a look at what's left. Hold on. Oh, you're over here. Shoot. Didn't see you until just now. That's okay. They're wavering. They're gonna break soon. Let me go again look at every unit that I have. There's just so many. Here, Skaven can be a huge pain because they break and they come back. So they end up just breaking to where your units will not chase them anymore. And then when they come back, they can just shoot at you so much without you noticing. So you've got to be really careful with them, especially in single player where the AI can micro a little bit more actively in that regard. Still on, let's go. Go after that leader of theirs, that Grace here of Plague. Yeah, I need you to come in too. Come on, let's go. Come on in. You two can hit that one unit. We haven't won the battle yet. Now we have. This is a good chase down more of them. Hunting salamanders. Let's come over. 30 plague monks. Plenty to kill. It's another massive win for our faction. So it may take a bit, but as long as we play a little bit defensively in the very beginning, we can go after the Skaven and beat them in a defensive battle. I want to heal up and take out their next town over. I'll have to occupy it, but I know that they're not going to be happy. Okay, you killed 55. Oh yeah, the Star Spears killed so many. They're very strong. They are inherently strong to where they could kill a lot of Skaven, and very easily. My Red Crescent Skinks did a fantastic job at annihilating our foes. That cohort of Sotek is fantastic. Sakul is over here. It's a hand one. Doing his own thing, trying to go after that enemy leader. Oh, he's unfortunately able to make it out. We're right behind him. He's just trying to push him out. You get out. You get out now. Yeah. All right. So we're looking at 248 loss. We're looking at 236 loss from my reinforcements. And for him, well, many more. All right. That wasn't too bad. We're keeping him so busy. I guess, like, with the skinks that we have, we're able to hit on everything they have. 
everything they have is going to be hit by something that I have. My salamanders are doing a great job at just keeping them back. And now we're going to get more bodies while we do replenish. That's a lot of gold, too. Oh, yeah, if you're right there, I'll pop out to go kill you. I'll kill the two of you for sure. Oh, darn it. They managed to get away. That's really a shame. I was hoping for something really nice. I might go chase him down, even though I may have a rebellion back at home. Okay. Let's have a look real quick. Things are okay in the other lands. To the northeast, we have a lot of Skaven for sure. We can look at my diplomacy to see if I can pick up a trade agreement with anyone. Not really. Nothing that great. No. I don't want to ally right now. Okay. Well, let's go see what we can do. You leveled up. Very nice. At level 12, we can get Fanatic. Forcer of Order. Even more weapon strength and against many other foes. No, that can wait. Yeah, I'm going to want you to have more armor later. What, what about over here? I can make my skinks even better. Kind of like that. I don't have any Ripper Dactyls yet. I'll try to get them as soon as I can. Okay, Ancient Salamander. Ooh, that'll be fun. Skink units. More weapon strength for all of them. That's really good, too. I do want to make them even better. I mean, I use them. Sure, help me replenish more. I should have a full army. That's surprising. Let's go over here. I want to take out this one army. Alright, so we're looking at a pretty big force again. How many leaders of theirs? Plenty. Oh, God. I wonder if I went after their town, if that would have been better. Find their main army first, you know? Well, here we go. We'll try it out. Yeah, if I need to rush back, Garth Snarl. Garth Brooks. Oh, no. Skaven Brooks. I knew he was here. The Battle of the Dust Gate. Now, let's wait. Again, for more magic. We have an enemy army on the left flank. I could go hit them, too. If it's, like, the bigger reinforcing army, that could be fantastic. Let's go look at what they have over here. They've got skirmishers. They've got their leader. Okay, so that's a warlord. Understood. Let's go look at how we're going to handle this real quick. I think I'm going to send in my red crested skinks to go hit the new army that's coming in. I'm going to let Tahan and Juan go handle that. My standard skinks will come over here. But we're going to have all of my skirmishers help them out. In addition to my Salamander hunting pack. My Bastildon right in the middle. And my Skink Chief. That's how we're going to do it. So Hanawan will lead his own kind into brilliant battle. Alright, let's go now. If it's time to move in, it's time to move in. And we better go in right now. Oh yeah, here they are. Found them. There's a lot of them. Already using magic on me. That's a rude boy activity. Let's go in. Yeah, use your ability. Let's buff up who we have. And flank many of them. Because we have got to do that. Oh my god, there's so many more than I thought. I'm not a huge fan of this right now. Let's go move over here to help out. Hunting pack, I don't think he can do too much, right? I don't really know. We're going to see, though. Spawning in more units, too. I'm going to send in as many units as I can, because it looks like that's really where the main army's at. I thought it would just be like a more minor one, but I was completely wrong. Completely wrong. All right, you kill what you can. Go hit those Globideers, maybe. Or just hit something, right? Go hit something for me. My replenishment is so high, though, that I think we'll be able to do some serious damage and make them very sad. Very sad to where they'll want to leave forever. Let's move over here into the trees. Yeah, I'm going to need two more of you. Maybe over here. 
One more of you to kind of come into the middle. Skirmishers, you'll keep on doing your thing. Salamanders come over here. You two just kind of burst through the middle too. Just go in. You two skink chief. I know we don't have a lot of magic. Let's keep on trying. I know you're fighting that gray wizard. Check out this fight though. There's just so many for me to kill. I think some of them are beginning to break. Yeah, good, good, good. My skirmishers are getting them too. My cohorts are going to move in. We'll go take out more gutter runners. Uh oh. Leave my salamanders alone. Still hold on. Come on back. Skirmishers will keep on attacking. Very nice. Other skinks. Let's move in. Oh, yeah. We have a lot to take care of. No problem. I'll go kill them all. I'll take care of them. I'm pretty much out of magic, but you can see that most of them are beginning to run now. Heck, yeah. You might have the numbers, but I've got better leadership. Especially because I did buff up my leadership for nearby units, too. So that's going to help me hold longer. Here they come. I've got to hurry. I've got to hurry and crush them all. Yeah, let's fall down on them. Look at how all the range units are just being herded into our clubs. Now that's a good fight. There's a lot of ammo. That's unfortunate. Okay, but still Dawn, get ready. You two get ready. Hunt Accelerators, you two. Here, go. Oh, the, okay, okay. They're not what I thought they were. Never mind. They're good. They're good. Let's just go finish off the rest of this army real quick. We've got them all herded into a corner. Like trapped rats. Let's push in with more of them. Oh, heck yeah. Pretty sweet fight. Yeah, go shoot him a little bit. I don't know how much damage you're doing, but shoot him a lot. Not just a little bit. Is it 1,200? Okay, okay. So, like, a little bit. It's like a little bit of damage. Gotcha. Alright, Skinks, one more attack. From behind. There's not a lot of them left. I'm shocked they're still here. That's, like, really the shocking part. For any of you who are not fighting, I'm going to get you ready for another fight. Don't worry about it. Salamanders, I'm going to bring you somewhere else for now. Oh, yeah, you two. Come on back. Come on back. That's okay. You don't need to chase them. I know. That's a, uh. Yeah, just come on back. You'll lose some on the way back, but it's okay, too. Somehow they're still holding these clan rats. I guess we're not really hitting them hard enough yet. You do have night runners too. Boys and women have killed how many? Only 21. All right, here comes some rat ogres. I'm gonna just bring out some of my two-handed units real quick. Yeah, I'm gonna need you two to come help me out. Come on, let's go. Come over here, you'll hit from behind. Oh, Skink Chief, you're actually fighting the wizard. Heck yeah. Get him in melee, you'll probably do more damage maybe. He's running again. Let's go hit him. Here comes the rat ogres. Let's go in. Yeah, well, let them keep on fighting. I'm going to kill these gutter runners. And gutter runners are pretty good, so I do get that. I do get that one. All right. Hunting pack. Let's go over here and take out these clan rat spears. Oh, nice. He killed the enemy lord. Hey, how about that? The hand of one will come in too. We gotta go kill these rat ogres. Skink cohort, I'm gonna go get you. Don't worry about it. I'm gonna bring in my other special cohorts. You'll come after whoever you can. You two will go after the slaves. Yeah, let's go kill those rat ogres. Are we done over here yet? Not quite, no. Not quite. Ooh, hold on. We got some gutter runners here doing some nasty damage. Oh, wait. No, no, no. We are done. Okay, cool. Well, it's really hard for me to see in that, but we did it. We can now bring in the rest of my units. Not that we actually need them. We've already won the battle. That's really exciting for me. Let's go through their leader now. I think Salamanders. Let's go after their skin slave slingers. You'll go attack them. Oh, my poor skinks. They should have broken by now, but they chose not to. Very brave of you. Appreciate it. Yeah, they're just eating through everything. Go take them out. I don't think we can chase them all down, but we can get a lot of them, hopefully. 
gonna need some flying units later. Whenever we have our flying units, I think we're gonna be able to do some pretty cool stuff. All right, let's fast forward a little bit. I think Salamander's gonna at least chase down a lot. Yeah, there we go. So we wiped the floor with their reinforcing army. It got a little bit messy, but you can see that we didn't really lose as many. Let's now end the battle. Another just gigantic battle where we can just kill them all. We lost only 430. We have 1800 remaining. That was another three of their armies put together. Time for me to replenish and get more bodies. Skaven revealed. Yeah, no kidding. Killed two of them in battle, and now we've leveled up again. We keep leveling up so quickly. I take that. I could use more damage from my skinks. Okay. Guess what? Time for another fight. It's been back-to-back -back battles. We have not stopped. It's an action-packed campaign. And we are playing them very hard, so they're pretty buffed up. That's why they take a little bit longer to break, I suppose. We are sub 10 turns in, and I'm already level 6 right now. So, hit a 1. It's very powerful. Or is it like 10 and 1? Anyway. Doesn't matter. Funny name. I get it, guys. Very funny. Let's gamble for more wins of magic power. We have 12. Okay, a little bit more. Skinks, I just want you to get ready. Here's wave 2. They're going to help me out. Skirmishers feel very effective. I'm not sure if they tweaked them or not, but they feel so much better than they used to. They actually feel like a real threat now. Like, you don't want them hitting you. I mean, I'm sure if you're armored, yeah, not a huge deal, but... Alright, so we're coming in to take this blasted town. Ugly as sin. Let's go take it. Let's go. It is time for the battle to end our current war front. You'll come over here. Everyone's moving in. Every ranged unit go into yeah, do that. Hey, let's go let's go kill them right now. Good idea. And they are terrified. That didn't take too long. What about the hidden one? So go over here and fight. We've got our skink chiefs coming in to attack too. Let's go in to go hit various targets. Let's go to these rat ogres. They've got to go. I can see that much already. Do they have a leader? They do. They've got a leader unit. That counts, I suppose. Okay, you can buff up. Skirmishers, let's get you to attack that group of clan rats. You'll come in to attack those clan rats too. Or actually, yeah, yeah, that'll work. We'll do that. Still Dawn, what are you attacking? Okay, let's debuff them. That worked out pretty well. Let's lock the team right now. But we're going to use one right over here to kill these Skaven Slave Spears and their other units. No rampage going on, no rampage to worry about. Oh yeah, they beat those spawned in units. Hey, leave my chief alone. Being rude. Being a bunch of rude boys. Okay, Rat Ogres are finally gone. Salamanders are beating the crap out of enemy units. Let's come over here now and go attack some more of them. Skink Chief, I hope you're okay. Yeah, you're kind of okay. Still Dawn. Yeah, go chase after that group of gutter runners. You can come over here and help me out. Let's go kill them. We'll come over here. We've got some range units to go after. After this battle, though, we can just end it. We don't have to keep on fighting it. All right, yeah, go chase down those gutter runners. It feels like our range abilities in the very beginning are so much more powerful. I mean, we're not dealing with Clan Scryer yet. By the time we get to them, we'll probably have to deal with their most powerful stuff, unless they die out, and I hope they do. I'm not kidding. Clan Scryer is terrifying. All right, so now we're only fighting ranged units who are going to flee to the corners of the map. Let's fast forward a little bit. We're, we're done here. We've done our part. We don't have to worry about it anymore. 
enjoy some magic too, by the way. Oh, is that a rat ogre? Oh, don't worry. I'll buff him up right now. He'll cut through all of you. He's already killed. Okay, he hasn't killed too many, but anyway. He's trying his best, okay? Can't wait for him to get his mounts. He's going to look so cool on his mounts. I feel like he's definitely a character who's meant to be carried by other skinks. <laughs> Alright, come over here now. I think it's finally over. It's finally over. So we finally beat them. It took a series of fights, constant fights that we had to win. There was like not one battle where I could afford to lose. So it is done. Decisive victory. Well, I feel better. Okay, loot gained. Time for me. I don't really want to deal with that again, and I don't. Mm, I'm gonna have to occupy it. I think. I don't want to deal with that provincial instability. I think if it's like a side one, sure, but for that, no. I don't want to deal with it. It probably owned the Golden Colossus too, but we finally won a pretty major fight. We're at level seven now. We can get a horned one to ride on. Oh, that's gonna change up a lot. Oh heck yeah. Look at how high my replenishment is too. Dance of Death. I'm gonna give you that. You'll get a pterodon one day. I'm not gonna pick up any of these right now, but we tore right through them, man. Okay, leave a like and comment down below if you'd like to see more in the future. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you would like to support my channel on Patreon, I do have a link down below. $1 a month goes a long way. And as always, until then.